this is Dylan Jones, and I'd like to welcome you to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. In today's session, we're going to be using the Trimble Access GNSS emulator. This tool is very helpful for demonstrating and testing purposes. So let's dive in. To start up our GNSS emulator, what you're going to want to do is first open up a job file. Then go to your menu button, scroll down until you see the about button, choose support, and then choose GNSS emulator. In our GNSS emulator tool, we need to select a base location and a rover location. So you can either key in the latitude, longitude, and height for each, or you can click in the latitude text box and then click somewhere on your map. That will update the position of your base and rover based on where you click on the map. The following option will be the receiver. You'll want to choose which kind of receiver you want to emulate. And then you'll want to open up the GNSS joystick to move about using a joystick. Choose the accept button and a command prompt shall um, open up, which you can at this moment minimize. Choose where you want to drag your GNSS joystick around just so it isn't in the way. If you have your settings set to automatically connect to an RTK receiver, you, shall, you should see that your receiver is connected and seeing satellites and an emulated broadcasted radio signal is being received. The next step is to either start your measure or stake out by going into menu and choosing either measure or stake out and make sure you're picking an RTK survey style. You can go right into the measure points, measure codes, measure to surface, or continuous topo options. So starting the survey here, you should see the base station pop up. You'll click on the base station. And now your survey is started. So I can measure a point here with my code, all my appropriate methods, my antenna height, and then simply just perform a measurement. Observation stored. To move your location around, to move your rover, all you need to do is click and drag the middle button here in the joystick. You'll see your crosshair on the map update as you move. To raise and lower your elevation, you can click and drag this slider here on the right. To make fine movements, enable fine mode, and this will allow you to move around at a much slower pace. We can also stake out using the GNSS emulator. So if I wanted to stake out a point, or a line, or an alignment, I can emulate that. Choose the object you want to stake out to. Choose stake out from the map. Enter in all of your details for staking. Click the start button and now I'm being directed towards my line. When staking out using the emulator, I found it's easiest to follow that direction arrow by choosing the north slash sun dis display orientation. You can also make movements by clicking anywhere on this, um, this circle in your GNSS joystick rather than dragging the button. Observation stored. When you're finished with the GNSS joystick, you can close uh, the joystick and shut down the emulator by clicking on your receiver icon and choosing End Survey. It'll ask you then to power down the receiver. 
This has been another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. We hope you enjoyed this video and will join us again next time.